Hey everyone, it's Will with Sonduck Creative, and today we'll be looking at how to turn a picture into a realistic pencil drawing in Photoshop. So start with your image, preferably something that has really good lighting like this image, and go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Now hit Command or Control J on your keyboard to duplicate the image. Set the Copies Blending Mode to Color Dodge, and then hit Command or Control I to invert the colors of your image. At this point, your image should look white, but don't worry, it's all still there. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and move the slider to a point that looks appropriate for your image. And just like that, you've got a good looking pencil sketch. I think we can push this a bit further though, so I'm gonna add a levels adjustment and shift the slider a bit to where I like it, and then I'm gonna do the same thing by adding a brightness and contrast adjustment and just mess with that one as well. Now that I've got both of those, I'd also like to add a cool charcoal-y background behind the subject. So with your object selection tool, go to the original layer and click on the subject to highlight them. Hit M on your keyboard for your marquee tool, right click, and select inverse. Now make a new layer between the original subject and the copy and make a layer mask. Now we can draw whatever we want and it won't bleed into the subject. Get out your brush tool with B right click to pull up your settings and you're gonna want to choose a brush that emulates a dry media. If you have one that you've made or downloaded from somewhere else, feel free to use that, but you can also use one of the pre-made ones Photoshop already has by scrolling down to dry media brushes. Select this bonus chunky one and then angle it and pinch it like this. Now it'll draw a bit more like a stick of charcoal. Set the opacity to somewhere between 5 and 20% and then just draw back and forth on your canvas like this. Last thing I want to do is just touch up some of these areas where I think Photoshop maybe did too good of a job in capturing detail. So switch to a soft round brush, bring the opacity all the way up, and drop the flow to about 20. Now just go into the masks of both the levels and brightness contrast adjustments and draw over some of the areas you feel could be less defined. In my case, it's this sweater. Alright, that looks pretty great to me. Hope you had fun with this one. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.